It's been a few days since the NFL draft ended, and clearly I still have rookie fever because I'm back on the clock here, and I am looking at yet another rookie player after just taking one here at the 9-1, 9-9, excuse me. And at the 10-4, I really had trouble with my selection here, but I'm actually going to go with Adonai Mitchell. And the reason for that is if you take a look, Adonai really has an incredible profile here. I've got this actually covering and hiding the Phenom Finder. You can't really show what I've got under the hood and where he stacks amongst this class, but just wanted to do a quick reminder that that's available if you do want to see where he ranks up amongst this class. But uh, just some other interesting stats you'll see here. 434, 40-yard dash. You know, really good speed score, according to player profiler, good burst score. You know, these are all in the upper 95 plus percentiles, um, you know, good catch radius. You can see from Matt Harmon's reception perception, uh, he's really good in, in with some of the routes he was running. High ceiling X receiver who excels versus man and press coverage. And I've got projections for every player uh, for this upcoming season uh, for PPR. And I've got Michael Pittman Jr. projected for 250 points, Adonai Mitchell 166, Josh Downs 164. So a really close split between those two guys. And I'm really excited about what Adonai can bring to the table to the Colts. Uh, really fast player, good hands, and really was just knocked in the draft due to how he manages his diabetes. So we would assume with some really good high caliber professional medical staff, they would be able to help him get that sorted out and uh, really make sure that he's good to go for the upcoming season. So for me, I'm going to lock in to pick with A.D. Mitchell. Really like the player, really like the talent. And, uh, you know, we're, you know, we're trying to shoot for some upside. I've, I've got my roster filled out uh, from the receiving core perspective, but I do want a little more future upside. I'm assuming this league is going to be around. And I don't just want to reach for the running back that's going to have a job for one year. Let me get someone that's got an opportunity to build that foundation with Anthony Richardson for years to come. So I'm going to go ahead and lock in the pick. And let me know what you would have done here. And uh, absolutely, I uh, would want to know what you guys think I should do with the next pick. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>